stronger when they do. All the piggies in the puddle love to cuddle in the muddle. See the little baby bunnies with their fuzzy little tummies. There's chicken, ladybug, even snakes can use a hug. Growing up like me and you. Let's see how they grow. If you venture into the forest and are very quiet, you may see all kinds of wonderful woodland creatures scurrying and running, jumping or flying through the trees and undergrowth. And all of them, like you, begin life as babies and learn about the world as they grow. a very wise bird. Now who do you think it could be? Yes! It's an owl! She's a beautiful tawny owl returning to her nest to watch over her egg. I'm glad she's back. I'm inside the egg. My name is Judy. This is my mother. She has a sharp, horny bill and large, round eyes. They help her see when it's dark. And she has very keen hearing. Her body is completely covered with soft, speckled brown feathers. And she has sharp, strong toenails called talons. One thing you'll always find under an owl nest are owl pellets. When we eat small animals, we swallow them whole. Then our stomachs squash the bits we can't digest into lumps, and we spit them out. This owl pellet is open. See the sharp bones and fur? That was Mom's dinner. A few weeks have passed, and guess what? Ta-da! It's me! I've hatched! And Mom laid another egg. I'm babysitting while she's out. I'm all covered with soft, fluffy gray down. And I have my own little tiny talons. I heard something. It's a fox! A hungry fox! Here I come to save the day! Foiled again. Mother's always close by to protect and feed me. <laughs> that tickles! <laughs> A squirrel! I'm older now, big enough to think about hunting. I want to catch things like Mom does. She says I'm still a little too young. But look how much bigger I am. And my baby brother is hatched now. Can't Mom understand? I'm practically an adult. Look, Mom, I can fly. Well, almost. Well, I'll just practice hopping around these branches. Maybe one branch is enough for now. My little brother's frightened. He's never been alone in the nest before. But Mom's keeping an eye on us. Both eyes. I better go back and keep my brother company. Staying in the nest isn't so bad. Not when Mom's with us. One big happy family. 
Here I am, a little older and a little wiser. Wise enough to know I hear something rustling on the forest floor. Ha-ha! A mouse! Mom, quick! Come look! Come look! Oh, boy! Mom's finally going to give me a hunting lesson. Rule number one, children. Be very quiet. Maintain the element of surprise. Number two, prepare for launching. How nice. The Mother Owl's giving hunting lessons. Hunting lessons? Number three, strike. <laughs> I just remembered. I have an appointment. Oh, dear. Mom, you missed. The mouse got away. It's okay if you miss. The important thing is to keep trying, no matter what you do or who you are. Tucked away in the forest is the home of a nimble-footed, quick-witted, furry little citizen of the woodlands. This is its front door, and here's the lady of the house. She's a wood mouse. You may see wood mice hurry and scurry about the forest floor, or race down tiny trails. But this mouse just wants a few moments of peace to groom herself. She's been very busy. Come and see why. The wood mouse has just had a litter of tiny baby mice. See the one being squashed in the middle? It's me. I'm Willie. We don't have any hair yet, so we like to pile together for warmth when Mother's out. But we can't see each other. Our eyes haven't opened yet. We have small pink noses and tiny, tiny whiskers. And a very attentive Mother who never leaves us alone for very long. Here comes a hedgehog. He's dropping by our house to congratulate Mom on her new brood. That's us. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Woodmouse. I heard about your new babies. Oh, why, aren't they precious? I'm so happy for you. I thank you. I'd invite you in, but you won't fit. Well, I've got to run. Of course. I'll be over at my place if you need anything. How cute. A beautiful family of mice. Look at that furry tail. Could that be one of us? Yes, it's me, Willie. We're nine days old now. See how we've grown? Our ears are bigger, our eyes are starting to develop, and our whiskers are much longer. Look at our beautiful coats. Our fur has a special oil that keeps it clean and warm and makes it shiny. I can feel my teeth getting longer and sharper. That will be very helpful for eating grains and seeds when I get bigger. 
But we still only drink mother's milk now. Mother says the forest is a beautiful place. But you have to be very careful when you're outdoors playing or having something to eat. There's always someone else out looking for something to eat, too. Mom can run across the forest floor very fast, so she can stay out of danger. I will catch a mouse. I will catch a mouse. Remember what Mother said. Positive attitude. Positive attitude. We're not the only animals who have to be careful, either. All the small woodland creatures watch out for danger. After about three weeks, we can see and hear. And Mother's ready to give us our first lesson in scampering across the forest floor. She tells us to first sniff the air to make sure there's no danger. Then run like she does. Mom is so fast. Here we go. My sister is fast, but not as fast as Mom. I prefer taking the scenic route. I'd rather explore than run. Look at my sister running on the log. Her long tail helps her keep her balance. I wonder what's down here. Whoa! I fell in the water. I don't think Mom's going to be very happy if I come into the house dripping wet, getting water all over the furniture. My sister's already back home. I'm not completely dry, but Mom's calling me to come home anyway. She doesn't want me to be outside before I learn to run fast. There's more to learning how to scamper than I thought. But I'll get better at it. Mother will make sure. find farmers living in a forest, would you? But that's where my family lives, and we're farmers. We're leaf cutter eggs. We harvest leaves and flower petals from the forest and use them in our garden to grow food. We have strong jaws and sharp teeth to cut the leaves. Then we march along as fast as we can carrying a huge slab of a plant. Want to see my house? Come on, I'll show you. We live underground, and our house is filled with hundreds of tunnels and chambers or rooms. See all that white? It's mold. That's what leafcutter ants eat. 
Everyone here has a job to do. There are worker ants for each kind of a job, and soldier ants who guard the colony. And the most important job of all is being the queen. She's the only ant who can make eggs. That means she's my mother, and everyone else in the colony is my brother or sister. She's much bigger than any other ant. As big as your little finger. As soon as she lays an egg, a worker carefully carries it away to a nursery chamber. Guess who's in this egg? It's me, Alice the ant. Soon I've gotten bigger, and I can move. I'm a larva. That's the first stage of an insect's life. One day. I'll have an important job too, like these workers who tend the garden. That could be a good career. As ants grow, workers move us to different chambers. Now I'm a pupa. That's the second stage of an insect's life. I'm looking more like an ant every day. I wonder what job I'll have when I grow up. Being a nursery worker could be an interesting job, helping all the cute little baby ants, or an explorer ant that specializes in finding the leaves to cut. Maybe I should go to work for my mom, get a job tending the queen. What about becoming one of the soldier ants who spring into action at the first sign of danger? Look now, I'm almost a full-grown ant. And I'm moving to another chamber. Easy now, don't harm the merchandise. I've decided what I want to be when I grow up, and you are handling a future champion leaf cutting worker. I'm going to make the fastest, neatest cuts a leaf cutting ant ever made. Look, I've got a lot more color now, and soon I'll be ready to start cutting. The big day is finally here. My first day on the job, on my way to cutting my first leaf. Ants leave a trail of special chemicals so we can smell the path to follow that takes us to the leaves and back to our nest. Look, I'm cutting my first leaf. Look how fast and neat I'm cutting. There's more to being a leaf cutter than just cutting. You've got to be strong, so you can carry the leaf away. I'm glad there's no wind today. Otherwise, this leaf could act like a sail, and I could get swept away. Now I'll carry it back to the nest. Watch us chop this leaf down to size. No job is too big for us when we all work together. We just cut all these leaves. I can't wait to cut some more. Now that I'm an adult leaf cutter ant.
forest is a wonderful place to live. There's nothing finer than a home under a tall tree. Especially if you like nuts. And that sure describes my family. We're chipmunks. This is my mother. She's been very busy gathering nuts lately. Do you know why? Because she's just had four little chipmunks. She won't have much time to spend scampering about the forest floor for a while. I'm one of them. That's me, with my paw out. My name is Charles. We have no fur, but we have stripes right on our skin. Look at our tiny little ears. Our eyes haven't even formed yet. We snuggle together, keeping warm, dreaming about nuts. And we know Mother will be back soon. Three weeks have passed and Mom's outside taking a well-deserved break. Look how we've grown. Now we have striped fur instead of just striped skin. I can hear our brother and sister exploring other tunnels in our burrow, chattering away. They're making quite a racket. Our eyes are beginning to open. And look at my tail. It's becoming positively bushy. Soon, we'll be big enough to learn how to gather nuts. We're five weeks old now. Look how much bigger we are. In fact, we're so big it's getting a little crowded in here. We get exercise by moving around all the chambers of our burrow. But I'm ready to see what's outside our home. We eat nuts Mother has stored for us right in the house. Hey, you took the last one. That does it. If I don't get out of here, I'm going to go nuts. Wow. This is totally awesome. There's Mom. She says it's time to learn how to gather and store nuts. Hooray! Come on out, everybody. We sniff the air and listen very carefully to make sure it's safe. Then we scamper off. Curious animals, but sometimes we're shy. My brother's too shy to come out of our burrow. We practice scampering over logs and jumping so we can climb from branch to branch. And we have to be very good at digging so we can bury and retrieve the nuts we find. Sometimes we forget where we buried a nut and it grows into a tree. So, chipmunks help the forest grow. Being able to wave our tails is an important chipmunk skill. Our tails help us keep our balance and keep us warm. We have sharp teeth for eating nuts. Mm. Oh, this is delicious. I've never had a nut this fresh. Running around can make a chipmunk thirsty. Oh, look, my brother's still too shy to come out of the burrow. He doesn't know what he's missing. Rocks and trees to scamper over and fresh nuts to eat. 
but now it's time to go back home. What a wonderful first day outdoors this has been. I'm going to love scampering around the forest. But it's still nice to go home to my nice warm burrow. Collect all four fascinating, fun-filled See How They Grow videos. See how farm animals grow. Pigs. Calves. Lambs. And chickens. Share their adventures and learn about their world. See how pets grow. Kittens. Goldfish. Parakeets and puppies. Watch them grow as they play and learn. See how insects and spiders grow. Butterflies, spiders, grasshoppers, and ladybugs. Discover a world crawling with creepy critters. See how wild animals grow. Foxes, pheasants, snakes, and rabbits. It's a wonderful introduction to Mother Nature. <laughs> <laughs> 